Oh, welcome back. Guess who's joining us now? Hmm. hmm. <laughs> Zach. Looking Richie. all spiffy. How are yes. you, Zach? Doing well. Did How are you, you guys doing? Good. Did you recuperate from the state fair? Because you were like all over all the over. place. Yeah. I did, yeah. On Monday night, I think I took about a 13-hour nap. And, <laughs> and you, then Alex. on Tuesday, you know, after the fair got over, I decided, why don't I take a long drive to Kansas? Why not? <laughs> So I took about the two hour trip to Lucas, Kansas, and I've been uh -huh. there before, mm -hmm. fell in love with the place. It's honestly one of my favorite places to go for a one tank trip. Lucas is really known for a lot of its unusual attractions Isn't and the, things the, to the, do. Mm -hmm. The restroom that's really unusual. The restroom yep. is unusual, the yeah. Garden of Eden. Yeah. Well, the town is up to it again. This time they're hosting a film festival later this month that is bound to bring in talent from coast to coast and beyond. So hmm. let's take a look. Showcasing films from their own backyard to those halfway around the world. The first ever lit off film festival in Lucas, Kansas plans to do just that. There's so many people who don't even see the Midwest, let alone see small towns like this. And if we just took the lid off and showed them the possibilities, then they would come around. The lit off film festival kicks off on September 25th and runs through the 27th. Admission is 10 bucks a day or 25 for all three days. Four feature films, along with several shorts, will hit the big screen in the small town, including a foreign film from Paraguay that's been shortlisted for a possible Oscar nomination. A lo mejor lo que, lo que intento yo hacer con la película es... The festival celebrates the arts, both on screen and off. It's fun to draw and I like displaying it and showing other people and winning prizes at like the county fairs and a ton of people are going to be looking at my art and it's going to be really cool because I've never even been to one of these before. Pop-up galleries full of local talent of all ages will fill Main Street. It's a very exciting feeling because everybody in Lucas, if everybody comes, will see my artwork. Known for its numerous artists and unique attractions, the festival hopes to bring in visitors to Lucas, who may not have found their Garden of Eden just yet. We all know we need people to see the beauty of what can be and what is already here. Known as the grassroots art capital of Kansas, this town's ready to take the lid off a little further and let the world discover everything they have to offer. For this week's One Tank Trip, Zachary Chi, Lucas, Kansas. I am very impressed. A town of what, 400 people? A town of 400 people. I mean, Lucas, they get it. They're yes. a progressive yes. community. There's only 400 people in town, but they are doing what they need to mm -hmm. to keep their town yeah. alive and thriving and bring in visitors from all over the place. They okay. have these unique attractions and this unique mindset, and they're like, we're going to go beyond the norm. Yep. We're going to celebrate being a little bit weird, being yep. a little bit different, and we're going to yeah. bring in people to our town. I mean, how many people... How many towns are remembered because they have a beautiful restroom? <laughs> you know, that's how, yeah. that, and that's how I remember. I'm like, that's the place that has that neat bathroom and restroom. A beautiful Amazing. restroom, the Garden of Eden with yes. all the concrete sculptures. I mean, you can go down here for the festival starting September 25th okay. and go and spend the entire weekend wow. and see everything that Lucas has to offer. So how do you the get to The nearby lake is beautiful as well. Mm -hmm. Basically from Axtell here, it's about a two hour drive. You just That's keep enough. on heading down south through Franklin okay. and get on Highway 8 in Kansas there and then you hit Luray and you kind of follow a different highway over there. and. Follow the Lucas, fun. Exactly. Follow yeah. the love fun. It. Not that hard to find. It's Hats right on I-70. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. I can. How did they, they get in touch with you? To kind they of did. Yeah, those at the nice. Grassroots Arts Center let me know about the Good. story. They're helping sponsor the film festival. And then also we will be having several other stories from Lucas. You know, even though the State Fair was over, I'm still busy. So you <laughs> are a busy guy. All right. And if you want to get in touch with Zach, easy to do. Let me know via email at zrichie at nebraska.tv or news at nebraska.tv. We'd love to hear from you. Or if you see me, stop me and let me know. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Zach.